Hey, welcome to The Daily Diaries, Crystal with you, and uh, it's great to have you here. Today we are talking all about the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame on the go kit. If you have been here before, you've seen my videos, you know how obsessed I am with the Walk of No Shame eyeliner. And mine was like yay big and I really needed to replace it. And when I was on the website, I saw that they had this little kit going and I was like, give it a whirl. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. I also have the Iconic London Luscious Glow Baked Highlighting Palette to try out. This looks really pretty, so I'm excited to get that on the face. So if that sounds like a fun and you're curious to see how this little pack performs, then uh, we'll just, just stay there. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, so in the pack, we have got a full size of the Walk of No Shame eyes to mesmerize. So the little pot here, let me open these up as I'm talking about them. I gotta say, I have two of the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize pots and I haven't had the best luck with them. I think they're really pretty, but they don't last that well on my eye. So what I think I'm gonna do today is pop this one on with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and just see if that helps to hold it in place a little bit. So this is a real coppery ready shade. So I'm looking forward to trying that. The eyeliner, all time favorite, this bad boy. I love it so, so much. Just look, just look at this. If you have hazel eyes, let me tell you, this baby is so complimentary, but of course any color eyes will look amazing with this beautiful ready brown shade on there. I do want to try the Pillow Talk eyeliner as well. I haven't got that one, but I think that's obviously more of a pinkier shade because everything is. Currently, uh, I'm stuck in a box, so this might be the end of the video. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, that actually hurt. Okay, it also has in this box the little mini lip cheat pencil in Walk of No Shame, I'm assuming. Yes, what a surprise. I've never tried this shade before, but I do like the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner formula. I think it's really nice. So I'm excited to have that. And then there is a mini of the, I think it's Matte Revolution lipstick. Let me see on the box. Yeah, the Matte Revolution lipstick in Walk of No Shame. Just the little mini guy. Ah, it's so small and cute. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that's what that looks like on the hand. Oh, how remiss of me not to swatch this little pot here. Let me do that right now. Let's see what color we're working with. Yeah, this is definitely something I am into. There's a lot going on across the road today. Mm. <laughs> Being a nosy neighbor, I'm like, what's going on over there? It's like a million cars. Anyway, that is <laughs> that is the shade. So it's a real coppery brownie shade. All right, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to be whacking on today. Let me pop some eyeshadow primer on first. So I went to the theater last night and I went to see 42nd Street. Theater lovers, you know, that's an absolute classic. And it was so excellent. It was the company that performed it was a theater company that I've done a couple of shows with. So I had a couple of friends in it and they were all fantastic. And the show was excellent. They did such a good job of it. it was just, yeah, everyone was really strong. All the cast members were really strong in their roles. It was, yeah, it was a joy. But I've been having my migraines really going next level lately. And honestly, driving home from the city last night, which is about half an hour, 45 minutes, depending on traffic. I, my migraine was getting so next level that I thought I was having a, like a brain aneurysm. I don't know. There was just this, like, as well as my normal migraine intensity, there was just this sharpness in my skull and it was so painful. So yeah, I was pretty happy to get home and <laughs> see Billy and just knock myself out. <laughs> Tonight I am going to see Sam Smith and he's performing, I think, at the Entertainment Center. And the cool thing is that he his opening act is Meg Mack, who is one of my favorite Australian singers. You might have heard me talk about her before, but she is amazing. I'm going to apply this pot with my, I think, my Sigma large shader. We'll see how we go. I'm just hoping my head can give me a break because it's still been awful today, as it is every day. Now I'm gonna wanna obviously blend this out. 
I haven't worn mine for so long, I can't remember how much time I have to maneuver them into the position I want. To do it, I'm going to take another Sigma brush. This is the E42. This is going to be an easy, <laughs> easy eye look. If you didn't see my other Charlotte Tilbury video just recently, it was uh, about the Fire Rose palette, which is back and it's my favorite Charlotte Tilbury palette. It's so pretty. Okay, so it has a pretty hard edge. Mm, yeah. So yeah, make sure you check that out if you're interested in the Fire Rose palette because it's a limited edition palette. It's just so pretty. <laughs> I'll try and remember, but I'll try and remember, remember to <laughs> remember to link that video below. That's very pretty color. I just hope it lasts on my eye. It's gonna be a very easy look if you want a one and done. Get up, and you could do it with your finger for sure. I definitely think I'm going to audition for the next show that the theatre company I've done shows with in the past is doing because it's going to be so much fun. They're doing the Adams Family musical and I had never, I didn't even know that it existed. And then I was listening to the soundtrack on Spotify and I was like, yes, I want to be in this show. The music just sounds so fun and I think it'll be so good because it's so different to the other shows that I've done in the past because all of them are kind of, you know, set in America and New York <laughs> around the same period of time and yeah the songs are all sort of on the, along the same vein but this is so different it's it's obviously a more modern production I think from 2007 so yeah I'm really really psyched to audition for that one and I just hope my body holds up and my endo doesn't sabotage it for me <laughs> all right well that looks really good just by itself easy <laughs> now I just want to take a little bit more on my finger because I want to just increase the intensity along the lid. I really do like that color. I've got one that's kind of a coppery rose color but this one is like the copper but without the rose. <laughs> so it's nice. I'm just going to use my little Refa 03 and dip into the pot again and I want to run it along my lower lash line. There we go. I love these kinds of colors. <laughs> you know that already if you've been here before. And if you haven't been here before, sign up so you can know that about me. <laughs> it's a very cool tone window we're in at the moment though. It's a lot of cool tone releases. I know the Natasha Denona cool tone palette came out recently. That one I could not care less about. <laughs> I mean, I do love the Natasha formula, but the color story is not for me. And also I just feel like even if it was for me, I wouldn't need a palette that big with 11 different grays and blacks. I just need a couple. <laughs> but that's just moi. Okay, now I've got some really pretty eyeshadows in front of me from Glaminatrix. Some single, singles from the Animal Bundle. <laughs> Uh, he always when I film he always comes in and sits with me and makes noise because he chews on stuff <laughs> so that's what that sound is in the background if you're wondering <laughs> all right so I'm gonna take the color lion from Glaminatrix it's beautiful metallic and I think I want to use that in my inner corner it's probably still a little bit too dark but no I think it'll work I think it'll work so I'm just taking that on my finger. I really need to do a video on these because they're so pretty and they've just been sitting here in front of me. Okay, that is a bit darker than I would hope. So instead I'll bring that over a little and over here and I'm going to use different color on my inner corner. Oh, that's so pretty though, over that copper. That's really pretty combination. 
beautiful. I'm going to use another palette that's in front of me that I have yet to get to, but will definitely get to soon. And that is the Rich palette from Beauty Bay. I haven't even swatched this thing yet. It's just been sitting in front of me. So let me, let me pop its cherry and <laughs> I'll be a cherry popping mama. And I'm going to take, okay, this shade here called Risque and pop that. there. That'll do the job. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing with this rich palette because I mean look at the gorgeous tones in there. They're just up my alley for sure. Okay so that's all we're gonna do there. I'm gonna pop some eyeliner on. That looks really pretty. Eyeliner. So taking my favorite eyeliner of all time. <laughs> Uh, the good thing is as well, the eyeliner and the lip pencil are different colours, as in the body of the pencil. This one's dark and this one is gold. <laughs> I will always repurchase this product, even though Charlotte Tilbury is ludicrously expensive. This is worth it. Maybe there's a party happening. No, this looks a mess at the moment, but don't stress. Because I'm gonna get that same bullet brush back. Oh, sorry, pencil brush. And just, I wanna just wing it out a bit. I assume this is a like a kit that's only around at Christmas time, sort of a gift box. Oh, it's so pretty. Okie dokie. I'm loving it. All right. Got that on. Let's do mascara on. Okay, I'm back with my mascara on and I was going to put some lashes on, but here's the thing. I hardly ever wear lashes. Like seriously, maybe once or twice a year. Maybe not even that. And it's because I actually really like how my makeup looks just with my mascara. I don't know. I just feel more comfortable that way. So I'm not going to do lashes today, but I promise you I will get to trying out the Glam Manicure Lashes soon. Okay? <laughs> don't worry. All right. So what I'm going to do now, though, is I've got this new blush. It's one of the e.l.f. blushes, the Halo Glow Beauty ones. So I've got the shade... <laughs> you go Coco in front of me <laughs> you go Glen Coco and I am uh, yeah I'm gonna give that a swatch because I haven't even seen what this looks like yet I'm just literally pulling it out of the box right now and then we'll get to trying out the lip liner and a lipstick okay so this is what it looks like I bought two shades I think I'll save the other one to use in a different video but yeah this is sort of a ready brown Cocoa color, I suppose. Ooh, crikey. Look at that. That's real bronze. <laughs> it's a very similar finish to the Emco Beauty glow ones that they have. All right, I don't know. I'm scared to dab it on my face because it's very pigmented by the looks of things. So I'm going to make sure i got a <laughs> blending brush ready to go. Oh, yes, hello. This might be a finger jobby. Sounds a bit weird. Yep. Yeah. Definitely a finger one for me. To make sure I can blend it out. Because it's not, like it's not a liquidy consistency. So you need to put some beef into it instead of, like you could use a stiff brush, but yeah, this isn't. I'm going to blend it out initially the way I wanted to. It's going to help now that I've worked it into the skin. That's pretty though. It goes really well with this. Oh, that is nice. I might just put a tad more here. And then, uh, yeah, just leave it like that. I look like one of those dolls. <laughs> That's 
That's really nice. I like that. It's just a little teeny guy. Look at that. I like that it's got a tiny little head on it. I think that's quite handy for someone with a smaller face like me. Hmm. All right, and let's pop some highlighter on. I've got the iconic London Luscious Glow baked highlighting palette in front of me, which again, I haven't broken into. So this is exciting. Oh, already fingerprinty because <laughs> life. And all right, so this is what we've got inside. Very pretty. I'll just swatch these on my fingers so you can suss her out. These are the shades in here. So I think we're going to use this one. Could even mix it with the white one actually. Maybe I'll do that. I don't really foresee myself using this white one very often unless it's mixed with something else because it's just not really how I like my highlighter. <laughs> First let's just dip into that golden colour. And if I peel the thing off I can actually use the mirror. How's that for a good idea? I have one a fortnight. I'm definitely more of a cream or liquid highlight kind of gal, but I just saw this and thought it was cute and wanted to give it a little go. I want to make sure that's working into the blush so they look seamless. I might, oh yeah, I'm going to put a tad of the white one into the corner of my eye. It's just made it a little bit brighter. Now let's do lips. Let's get this Walk of No Shame lip liner on. Blot the... I had some Egyptian cream on there. So my lips are dry. I might just skip this part and bring you back in when it's done because watching me put lip liner on is so boring. <laughs> All right, so I've gone ahead and filled in my entire lips with the Walk of No Shame lip liner, which glided on beautifully onto my lips. It, it's a dream to use. And now I'm gonna take the, when I figure out where I put it, I'm gonna take the little mini Matte Revolution Walk of No Shame lipstick and get that on. Get it on my kisser. And there we have it. That's everything in the box on my face. What do you think? You know what's cool about this box situation? So getting the little kit here is I hate replacing products. So even though they're my favorite products in the world, I hate just buying a replacement product because I'm like, I could be spending that hard earned money trying something new and exciting. So this was really cool because it was a way to get the product that I love that I had to repurchase, but like make it fun and exciting by getting a few little extras in here. Why does it sound like Daytona outside my house always? Because I'm surrounded by car bogans. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed the products that I have used today from Charlotte, very much so. I think everything has performed really beautifully. I also really enjoyed the e.l.f. blush that I used, the Halo Glow Beauty Wand in a Yugo Coco. <laughs> that name just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, really enjoyed that and yeah, I think this looks nice as well. I'll definitely have to use it a bit more. Like I said, I'm definitely more of a liquid and cream highlighter girl in general, but it's always good to have a nice powder in here. And I like that there's the selection of colors as well. I feel like that'll be quite handy and versatile. So thank you so much for being with me today on the Dally Diaries. And like I said, I've got some fun things coming up. I cannot wait to finally get a video done with this rich palette from Beauty Bay because it just looks so pretty. And I've got a whole stack of new things in front of me that are just waiting for me to make videos with them, to have the time to get to them. And I will be doing that ASAP. 
heat. I hope that you will think about subscribing before you leave and also leave me a thumbs up and a comment if you feel like you would like to. It's been a delight having you here as always. Have a fantastic day or night wherever it is in the world that you reside. Uh, Molly says goodbye as well. <laughs> We're going to get out of here before this gets too crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. <laughs> Bills. <laughs>